Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title below, this is going to be a Salt Mountain Melts haul. And are you like me? Do you feel like Salt Mountain Melts is like, it's an event whenever she has pre-orders. And I feel like Salt Mountain, Teddy Bees, Dessas, like they don't open that often, but when they do, it's an event. You plan your pre-orders, you talk to your friends, and then you wait and you see the photos of the beautiful loaves and the gorgeous labels. And I think that is what sets Salt Mountain apart. Not only does her stuff throw and throws so well, I'm actually melting two cents that I want to order on the pre-order, which opens tonight, which is also why I wanted to film this video. But we'll get into that at the end. What I did want to say is her labels are so beautiful. The oils that she uses are so strong and they last a long time. I remember Lexi raved and raved and raved about Salt Mountain to me for so long and I never ever got to try it. So I'm like, okay, let me try. And I placed an order for some souffles and I was blown away. One, her PB&J out of this world. Like it's that PB&J Bath & Body Works dupe oil that smells like honey toast. It doesn't necessarily smell like PB&J to me, but it is absolutely beautiful. It is stunning. I love it so much. But with that being said, she had a pre-order that opened in July and I think I only didn't get one or two fragrances. I got 14 loaves and I did opt for all loaves this time just because she doesn't open that often. Her scent lists are fairly small. There's about 12 to 14 fragrances. And for me, it might, it's not going to be offered necessarily during the next pre-order because since she has such curated lists, you might not see it for a while. So they're all scents that I thought I would really like and I want to have more of them, especially if I want to do them in my living room, dining room, kitchen area, or if I wanted to do a couple melts in my bedroom. Either way, I definitely wanted to place a fairly large order. This is the largest order that I placed from Sal from Salt Mountain. I got nine loaves. In individually, and then I got two cents that I got two loaves of. So without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start with the ones that I got two loaves of, and the reason why I placed this whole order, Heat Wave. All right, can we talk about this label, you guys, too? Let's see. I got, I got the new iPhone 14 Pro Max, and look at that label. I'm able to do autofocus on here. Look how awesome that is. Her labels are out of this world. Now, Lexi raves and raves and raves about Heat Wave. And it's not really a scent that you would wanna melt right now. It's definitely really summery, but I love Salt Mountain. Her wax does, I think it lasts a long time, especially with curing too, that I have no problem putting these away for next year. And when she asked for requests and I put Heat Wave and it got chosen, I had to pick it up. The notes are strawberry, raspberry, guava, and margarita. And Lexi talks about this one so much. If you're not familiar with Lexi, she's one of my best friends. I love her so much. She is two quick wicks here on YouTube. I'll leave her info down below. But she raves about Heat Wave. Always has talked about it, and it was never offered since she started talking about it with me, and we became friends. So when it was offered, I had to try it. And the reason why she loves it so much is the margarita oil. She says that Salt Mountain's margarita oil is unlike any other, that it truly smells like a margarita. And that strawberry raspberry guava is an oil on its own and it just screams summer. You guys, it literally smells like a margarita from the salt of the rim to the tequila to the lime, and then it's almost like a strawberry raspberry guava margarita. A really fruity, tropical, bright margarita. That's all I can say. The color's beautiful. As you know, I'm not a huge summer person, but I do really love like the sense of summer when it's the winter and I'm ready for summer, but I actually never really enjoy it. It's like complicated, right? I don't like summer, I know I don't, and, but when it's really cold outside for a while, I'm like, I could really use some summer scents. I could really use some summer scents, but and then I'm like, I actually really don't like summer scents, but I do enjoy summer scents for a short amount of time, and I know next year, this is gonna be one, I might even melt like in December when it's so cold and snowy and I want my house to smell like summer, like the salty rim of the lime margarita, 
with strawberry raspberry guava. Bright, tart, juicy. It is fabulous. And I'm so glad I picked up two. I have no regrets. I don't have regrets on any of these. Now, the other one I picked two up was Sugar Mama. So again, let's talk about this label. She got the little lips there, clenching that dollar sign. So, so, so cute. And the notes are strawberry pound cake and sweet and salty. Now I do have her sweet and salty on its own. It's more of like a super rich, buttery, um, like a buttery, salty fragrance, like a pretzel. And you know me, I love like a pretzel scent. I can smell it from here. Mixed with strawberry pound cake. Again, fabulous. You get equal parts of strawberry pound cake and her strawberry pound cake oil is to die for. It's that really buttery pound cake mixed with the strawberry jam. Like, holy crap, this is incredible. Blended with the pretzel bakery. Oh, I'm so excited for this one too. Glad I got two loaves. And I think I mentioned pretzel every single time. When you melt it, it's like the pretzels being baked in the oven and it just gets elevated and comes alive. It's, I can't wait. Next, I picked up Deja Brew. Now, Deja Brew is one that I've never had a Salt Mountain Coffee scent, so I had to pick it up, the cute little latte with the heart on the cup. And this is coffee beans, salted caramel, sugar cookies, and sweet and creamy. Her sweet and creamy is different than her um, sweet and salty, but I wanted to try coffee, and I've been watching everybody's hauls, and they're right. It's like a very, very rich caramel latte. You pick up on the coffee, as always, like robust coffee beans, not necessarily espresso beans, like coffee beans, and then the creamy, creamy coffee, and that caramel sauce on the top. Like, how many of you order Starbucks and you're like, extra caramel, and the barista like pours so much caramel on there? That's like what this reminds me of. So good, love a good coffee. All right, the next one, again, the labels. Haunted Bake Shop. Look at the labels with the stack of pumpkins, the ghost, and the spider webs. Literally obsessed. And this is Pumpkin Sugar Donut and Bake Shop. Now, okay, I don't love this one, but I understand why I don't love it. This Pumpkin Sugar Donut seems to be a newer oil in the vendor wax world that a lot of vendors are offering, and it all smells very similar to me. It smells like a donut, like a cake donut, but like a spiced cake donut that has a lot of cinnamon and not a lot of sugar. It's definitely like cinnamon stick forward donut. And that is literally what this smells like. I know she offered her bake shop in the last pre-order and everybody went crazy for it. So I was excited to see it blended with something. Yeah, it definitely screams fall. I mean, it is a rich cinnamon sugar pretzel or cinnamon sugar donut scent, but emphasis on the cinnamon. And then you have like the nutmeg, the ginger, and the clove from the pumpkin. So not a favorite, but I could easily blend this with something. And you never know, when it melts, that cinnamon sugar might not be, might not be as terrible. Not, it's not terrible, just not might be as strong. This is another one that people have been raving about, and this is Cake at the Orchard. And the reason why, there's pear in here. So this is apple cider donut, birthday cake, and Bartlett pear. I was so stoked to try this one. Oh yeah. Pear is a scent that I feel like doesn't get enough love in the wax community. I don't feel like there's a lot of scents that have pear in them. I know I have, um, from Scentsy Pear Thick Day. I haven't melted it yet. I definitely want to because after smelling this, I'm inspired. The apple cider donut is not heavy on cinnamon. This smells like a true apple cider donut, like a delicious fresh baked apple cider donut. And I think the birthday cake just makes this a little bit more rich and creamy. And then paired with the Bartlett pear, apples and pears together are beautiful because pear is that like more bright, crisp fragrance oil. And something that I think is so unique about Salt Mountain is every note you can detect in her blends. So the apple cider donut and the Bartlett pear pair together, it's magic. And then the birthday cake just makes it really, really 
creamy and takes away any spice that the apple cider donut could have had. I don't think it has a lot at all anyway, but really, really excited to melt that one this fall. Next we have Insatiable. So this is like a smoky masculine scent. We have a little pipe with the smoke coming out of it. And this is tobacco leaf, vanilla caramel sauce, and cinnamon glazed donuts. Tobacco is something that I don't find that I have a lot of in wax, but I really like this. This is definitely, definitely more masculine. I am gonna pull this loaf out. I will say all of the loaves definitely got like dinged up in transit, but it's okay. I mean, you're just gonna chop them up. Yeah, it's definitely like the tobacco caramel is very, very smoked and smells like sweet tobacco. Like, don't think of this as like cigarettes. It doesn't smell like cigarettes. It definitely just smells like a really rich, deep, masculine, smoked, sweet tobacco. With that cinnamon glazed donuts, you can pick up that like yeasty donut note too. Definitely more cinnamon spice than the other ones. Not as much as the pumpkin bake shop though, or the haunted bake shop. But this is really nice. I think this will be a really nice take on like a masculine bedroom scent. And I've been saying I really like melting more like masculine scents in my bedroom. So excited to have that one. Next we have Golden Dusk. Now this one, pretty plain label. It just says golden underlined with dusk and then a little bit of sparkle. But I think it looks beautiful. Sometimes simple is best. And this is Bonfire Bliss, Palo Santo, and Leaves. This is one that I was debating adding to my cart. And then during the pre-order, I'm like, I'm just going to do it. This is pretty. Her Palo Santo is amazing. I'm actually going to do another Palo scent right after this one. And her Palo is not the Bath & Body Works dupe. It's more of that, like, true, like, smoky, creamy, sultry Palo Santo wood. Blended with Bonfire Bliss. I don't find Bonfire Bliss personally to be super, super smoky. I think it's more of a like perfumed version of a bonfire. Like I'm melting by the fireplace right now, which is available in her pre-order. Definitely getting a loaf of that. And again, it's more like perfume body care version of smoke. Like you took the emphasis and like you took Bonfire Bliss and thinking like, Bonfire Bliss, so roasted marshmallows, campfire smoke, woodsy, outdoorsy, and then turned them into a perfume with like sandalwood and oud and like salty, not salty sea air, but like the air note. So blended with that and the palo with leaves, I assume this is a leaves type because I smell like a little bit of that apple cider in the background. It's a really interesting, interesting take on fall, but I'm, I'm really happy that I picked this one up. I like, I like the blend of those guys. Next, Coven. Fun label. I, it's like an upside down moon. I'm not really, I don't understand like the witchy stuff, but if you do, Coven, Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, and Powdered Donuts. Now, I was quick sniffing the box when I got home from work last night with Natalie on the phone. And I said to her, now this is like in no way offensive, but it smells like those like cheap Edamins, like powdered donuts, like the powdered sugar donuts. You know, whenever you open those and you bite them and you eat more and it kind of leaves like a, an aftertaste in your mouth, like the powdered donut, it's so powdery. Your mouth is like coated in powdered sugar. This is captured in here. And I, I love that. Like, don't get me wrong. Like a Boston cream pie has that like artificial chocolate sauce. I love that. And if I want to smell a Boston cream pie scent, I expect to smell that. So that powdered donut, is not a blender in here. You can truly smell those like cheap powdered donuts in the bakery, or not in the bakery, like in the grocery store. And then mixed with that smoky, smoldering woods of the marshmallow fireside is beautiful. And then the Palo Santo, again, the same Palo Santo that's in Golden Dusk, like a very, just a very smooth Palo. It's really, really pretty. I don't know how I'm gonna let these cure. These are so beautiful. All right, next is Hungry Ghost. Now, my friend Annie here on YouTube actually sent me a souffle in this guy, and I loved it. 
I melted that right before this pre-order and I'm like, yeah, I need to pick this up. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. Now, I will, there are some chips coming out of this one, but I will have to show you the loaf just because, do you see the little ghosty on the corner there? So cute, and I, I can already smell it. So, when you think pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow, you think a blender, like a smooth pal uh, pumpkin pecan waffles. Yes, however, when I melted this, you truly smelled the pumpkin pecan waffles, but then you also smelled like those sugar cookies freshly baking in the oven. And then it's like you took them out of the oven and you have gooey, gooey marshmallows. You can really get all three notes in here. She definitely did not skimp on the sugar cookie oil mixed in with this Hungry Ghost. This is a 10 out of 10. This is just so good. I was at first like, oh, it's just a creamy pumpkin pecan waffle scent. And then I melted it. Nope, that creaminess turned into a beautiful bakery. Beautiful bakery. Second to last is 100% That Witch. And it has like a little witch's hand pointing to a lightning bolt. And this is pumpkin cupcake, candy corn, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. And this one is like a teal loaf with like black glitter. And this is good. I just think that cupcakes at Tiffany's is just not my favorite oil. I will say, you can smell it in here. It's like a buttery cupcake with like chocolate frosting or like yellow frosting and like toffee pieces. And you can smell that. It's a very, very creamy, creamy cupcake scent. I enjoy it. It's definitely not my all-time favorite. It's a good creamy blend. I actually might blend this one with the Haunted Bake Shop to give it like a more creamy bakery instead of like cinnamon heavy. I do really enjoy it. It's just not my favorite. I think it's just, it's just a very, very creamy bakery. And then last but not least is bread and jam for Francis. So we have a little cat and he's holding a piece of bread and a little jar of jam. So cute. And this is baked zucchini bread, blackberry jam butter cookies and creamy butter. Okay. You guys know how I feel about bread and jam scents. I love bready scents. I love yeasty scents. And it has that blackberry jam butter cookie. And I've told you too, blackberry jam butter cookie is like my kryptonite lately. That and Cider Lame, when you melt it, blackberry jam butter cookie just transforms into this so rich and creamy. And the fruity blackberry does not lean floral to me. And you smell that blackberry jam butter cookie equally with a big zucchini bread. And her zucchini bread is top tier, amazing. And the creamy butter at the end, it is a buttery scent. It is a very buttery scent, but I highly recommend this. This is this is exactly like the hype on, on her Facebook. Yeah, wow. I love bread and jam scents. And this is another amazing one for my arsenal. I am so happy with this order, you guys. Like, Salt Mountain Melts, from what I've melted, the small amount of things that I've melted from her, I am blown away. The quality, the way that she's super active on Facebook, Amanda, the um, the admin and the creator, she is just great. I will say her pre-orders are open for a very short amount of time. It will be open on Sunday. I believe it's Sunday evening. Do not quote me. I can't remember. I will leave her Facebook group down below as well as I'll put info right under it on what exactly it is. Um, because I believe she's only open for a couple hours typically and I'll put the time that it is in her time zone and then you guys can do the math and figure it out. But I know I am going in for a few of them. I'm definitely going in for by the fireplace. I think I'm gonna go in for that milk and cookies for Santa. I have that melting in my living room and it's really, really nice. It's a very creamy cookie scent. So definitely wanna go in for that. I think I'm just gonna do loaves again, maybe like five. There is one, one or two, I think I'm getting in souffles. There's one that's like a cranberry muffin, but it's like orange cranberry muffin. So not exactly sure how I feel about that. So I might just get a souffle just to try it out. And she does offer a lot of cherry fragrances. Not in this last pre-order, which I was excited about, but I don't love cherry. 
People say she does cherry really well. I just can't get on board with cherry. And I know Amanda uses a lot of cherry. So I do stay her clear from those fragrances. But yeah, let me know what you got from this Salt Mountain pre-order if you participated. And if not, are you participating in this one? And what are you getting? I'd love to know. And leave those comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter, and I love you all so much. Happy shopping tonight, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.